I'll be showing Speaker Progress, the new AI-enhanced learning accelerator that is built into Microsoft Teams and is now available globally for all educators. Speaker Progress lets educators make assignments that let students practice their communication and presentation skills using AI and it's personalized feedback, the students get coaching, and the educator can review these assignments and see progress over time. So let's get started. Now to step back, before we get started, Speaker Progress falls into the category of learning accelerators, and these are free tools built into M365. We have foundational skills and future-ready skills, and Speaker Progress and Coach are part of our future-ready skills. Speaker Progress is all about helping students become confident presenters and communicators, and 96% of businesses identify communication skills as essential, but only 42% of workers are proficient in this skill. Also, in the age of AI, soft skills, communication, and presentation become even more important. So now let's jump to the detailed demo. I'm signed in as the educator in Teams for Education, and I'm gonna switch over to assignments. Down at the bottom, I'll click Create. Now one note, you can actually create all learning accelerators directly from this flyout menu. So speaker progress, search progress, reading progress. So that's a quick way, but I'll just create new assignments and do it the classic way. Here's my assignment form and I'll give it a title, Summer Presentation Assignment, and now I'll give it some simple instructions. Give a presentation about your summer using speaker progress and practice your content delivery and audience engagement. Now as a bonus, you can see right here we've added our assignment instructions AI. This isn't really part of speaker progress, but if you wanted you could say add some detail and AI is going to help out really quick. Oh, here's some nice details, timeline, visual aids. I can say keep this. I could even add a little bit of sparkle for emoji. So now I've added some emojis here. I have a nice, beautiful speaker progress assignment ready to assign out. Now you can set the other things over here like due dates and points and rubrics if you want, but we're gonna click learning accelerators and click speaker progress. We're gonna change this into a speaker progress assignment using that button. So click here. Now the first time that you run speaker progress, you get this nice welcome to speaker progress dialogue. This only pops up once but it explains how this works. And also if you wanna send our team feedback and suggestions, you can do that directly from the feedback tab. But I'm gonna close this here. Now to set up the speaker progress assignment, you're gonna see on the right hand side, it looks pretty similar to reading progress. And to make anything show up here, we're gonna customize this and I'll show how to do that in just a moment. So first we're gonna give this a title. Summer presentation assignment. Currently we only support English, but we will be adding Spanish in the near future and we'll be adding about seven more languages by the end of the year. Today though, it only supports English. You can set the number of attempts. This is how many times can a student practice or try or retry. You can set it to unlimited, but we'll set this to five so they can retry it five times the maximum. You can also set a time limit. So I will set a five minute time limit as well. We're gonna require video because it's gonna record the student presenting and also releasing the rehearsal report. So this is making sure that if you want the student to be able to see that rehearsal report, which I'll show in just a moment, you can do that. If you don't want them to see the rehearsal report and just turn it in on their own for you to grade it, you can turn that switch off. Now the key for speaker progress is to be able to enable the different AI components for speaker coach. For those of you that have seen presentation coach inside of PowerPoint or inside of Teams, this uses similar technology and we can measure all of these different components of public speaking, including pace, filler words, pitch, pronunciation, etc. Now what I'm gonna do is I will click on select all, it's gonna turn all these switches on. And over on the left, you can now see here are the different things that'll be measured. And it explains the pace. So the different pacing you have, filler words, things like uh, um, you know, like, the pitch. So if I'm doing very, very monotone pitch, or if I'm varying my pitch up and down as I'm talking. Pronunciation of words. So you wanna make sure that students are pronouncing certain words correctly. Inclusiveness, repetitive language. Sometimes people will repeat very similar words or phrases over and over again. And also body language. Because we can watch the student present with video, we can check for eye contact, a clear view, as well as distance. Now over back on the right, if I wanna say, you know what, I'm gonna turn some of these things off. I don't care about the pronunciation. I'm gonna turn off repetitive language and filler words. Now you can see that I just have these four things that are going to be measured with the speaker coach AI when the student is presenting. 
But for my demo today, I'm going to turn these all back on. Now, similar to reading progress, an educator can check out what will it look like on the student side, just so I know if I've never used this, I want to see what will the student see. So if you click student view, it's going to open up the camera. Hey, there I am. I can flip cameras if I'm a student and I have different cameras on my laptop or a webcam. This lets me swap between them. I can see how many attempts I have remaining and the amount of time. So if I click start, it's going to fire up my camera. Here we go. It's going to say, hey, here's a nice close up. Welcome to speaker progress. It'll show the recording. You can mute notifications. So when you're getting those live pop ups, like I'm going to show later, the coaching, you can say, I don't want to see those coaching tips. You can also go full screen. Hey, now I'm full screen. Go back. And I'm going to exit the student view because I'm going to show exactly what this is going to look like. But as a teacher, you can show what will it kind of look like on the student side when I make this assignment. But in this case, we're going to make the real assignment right now. So I will click next in the upper right. Now down at the bottom, you can see this speaker progress is attached and this is ready to send out to my classroom. I have my nice assignment instructions beautifully generated with AI and I'm going to click assign in the lower right to push this out to all my students. Okay, there's the assignment as the educator. We're going to flip over to the student side and show what does this look like? I'm signed in as the student here and I'm in my assignments and I can see here's this summer presentation assignment. So I'm going to open this up. Here's all the nice instructions and down at the bottom, here is the speaker progress link. Now I'm going to click this to launch speaker progress. One note that I'm going to add. Currently, we only support the video recording and speaker progress and this is broadly available today. Very soon, probably by September or early October, we will roll out the ability to also add a PowerPoint presentation. So what that will do is you can have both the speaker coach video and the PowerPoint presentation recorded all at the same time. That's been a top request from our private preview. You can see some examples on the screen right here of what that's going to look like. That hasn't finished yet. So right now this will only be video, but very soon it'll be both the PowerPoint and video and you'll be able to choose either type as a student. So I will click this to launch the video component. Hey, here I am. Here's my video, kind of like you saw in that preview. As a student, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click start to start recording. Here's my countdown. And here I am in my video and I'm going to start my presentation. So um, this summer, uh, I did a lot of fun um, things with. Uh, so here's some feedback about my filler words. I'm going to go right here in the upper right. I can mute these notifications. So if I don't want to get any notifications as a student, maybe those are distracting. I don't want that real time coaching. I can turn off the notifications. But for this video, we will unmute them. So it says speaker coach notifications will reappear. Now I'm going to start talking really fast. Now this summer I went to my friends I played with my cousins we went to the pool. It was so much fun. I had hot dogs had hamburgers and ice cream. I just had so much fun with all my friends it says slow down a bit. Watch your pace. Okay. Now we'll do something with the camera. Now maybe I start going way too far back and I'm way getting out of the frame. We'll move closer to the screen. There we go. Now I'm looking better. Could be doing things like I start putting my hand in front of my face and I'm maybe not looking towards the camera. So sometimes you know, people are not really sure that might be looking around and they're keep the area in front of your face clear. Okay, that's easy enough. Okay, now my report is all done. I've done my recording and I'm going to click this stop button. There we go. Now I could try again because my educator gave me five attempts. I could watch this and see how it looks. Okay, that looks good. Now because the educator said I could view my report, this is one of the best parts. This is kind of like an AI Toastmasters report for those of you familiar with Toastmasters. I click view my report. And I have this really nice rehearsal report with top strengths and top opportunities. It shows me my average pace over time. Now, if I expand this, it can show me, oh, that's where I was talking a little bit too fast. I hit like over 150 words a minute right here. And you can see, okay, I got back into the main flow right here. It gives you a little sense, which is really cool for people to see that. Body language, but your eye contact, your pitch was varied and inclusive language. But over here on top opportunities, clear view, keep the view of your face clear. Now if I expand this, oh, it even took pictures of where I was putting my hand in front of my face. I didn't even realize it or distance. That's where I was getting too far away, getting back in a normal spot. If you got too close, it would catch that as well. Repetitive language. I said, maybe 
filler words, I said um, and you know, and even pronunciation. So all sorts of great information in this rehearsal report. And I'm gonna close this. Now when I'm done, I'm gonna say use this recording. So we'll upload and it's just gonna take a moment. Okay, it's all done. Now this is ready to turn in. So as a student, I will click turn in. There's my turn in celebration. Now what we're gonna do is flip back to the educator and show what do they see when they're looking at all these turn ins for speaker progress. I'm signed back in as the educator and here's my summer presentation assignment that I made. I'm gonna click into here and I'm gonna review my students who have turned it in. Okay, here's one that's turned in, we'll open it up. And here is the review page. And if you've seen Reading Progress, there are some similarities. I've got the video right here that I can watch. I have the rehearsal report at a high level, the total speaking time and total feedbacks given, and then the top strengths and top opportunities. And I, as a teacher, get to see all the same things that the students saw. I can also watch the actual video, so I can watch that presentation. And again, imagine if this was a PowerPoint presentation, like I showed those screenshots of earlier, will record the entire PowerPoint as well as the student whose video would be in the lower right in a smaller screen. So if I hit play here, there we go. I can make it really big. There's the video that I could watch. And again, if there was PowerPoint, I'd see the PowerPoint presentation as well as the student's video in the lower right. Now as a bonus, if I scroll down, the educator is going to see patterns. So we keep track of the progress pieces over time. So delivery, content and audience engagement. And this has tracking of things over time. So if I drill into these, I can see different patterns over time of what people were working on. So it's really nice and it shows these different patterns across different assignments. Even shows mispronunciations, different types of repetitive language, and all sorts of other things. So this is where you can track over time how is a student progressing. Maybe they're getting better with their pace, Maybe they're improving the number of filler words they add, they reduce the number of filler words over time, or things like eye contact and obstructed view. So a lot of great ways to track progress over time, and this is automatically aggregated through speaker progress. Now, because this is a regular assignment, over on the right-hand side, I can still add my feedback. So here's some feedback that I'm gonna to give to that student. If there are points, I could add points. In this case, there were points available. And now I can just hit return and I can pass this assignment back to the student. Speaker Progress is fully available and rolled out globally today. This is version one. The things that I mentioned, more languages are gonna be coming very soon, and also the ability for students to upload their PowerPoint presentations so you can really get a full sense of a presentation as well as the audio and video component in the lower right. That will probably be rolling out in late September or sometime in October of 2024. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.